Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today what we're going to be doing is the MPG test with the supercharger. So I did this test when I first got the car completely stock and it got 26 miles per gallon. I redid the test after I got the tires and it got 22 miles per gallon. So we're going to see what it gets with the supercharger. When I got the 22 with the tires, it was 22 point something, I'll put it up on the screen. It was really cold out. It was like in the 30s or 40s. So some people said that the temperature had something to do with uh, the poor mileage getting just a uh, 22 because that's a big drop uh, 26 to 22 with just the tires so we're gonna find out what it does with the supercharger I don't think it did much to it so what this test is it's 88 miles 88 ish miles around the Beltway in Houston and I do the whole thing at 70 miles per hour I go to the same gas station same pump and um, just calculate the mileage and doing this test. I do it as scientifically as possible. Hopefully we get some good data, so let's go do this. And it's a little bit windy, I'm sorry. And I'm doing a cold start in the late, but there's not really much I can do about that because I got to turn on the car. Okay, just pulled up here at the gas station. I'm going to pump six, which is the pump I always go to when I do this. So I'm gonna reset all the parameters. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys the tire pressure. Same thing, it's a little bit higher on the right than the left, but right around the ballpark of normal tire pressure. So let's see what this thing does. And it is nice and humid tonight. That's all just uh, condensation from the humidity. Gas is always expensive here. So we are going to go until it stops. Then we're going to wait 30 seconds and then click it again. 30 seconds and click it again. gonna be someone told me to turn this upside down oh it worked good idea whoever suggested that all right so that's what's gonna be our baseline not that it really matters so now we're gonna turn this guy on and hurry up and get to the freeway so I don't skew the results and the temperature outside is 70 degrees today we're definitely not cold and um, I turn off the AC completely. I might use the vented seats or maybe the fan, but the air conditioning is gonna be off completely because obviously it would skew the results. So I might be a little bit hot, but I should be all right. All right, so we're getting on the freeway. That was half a mile from the, from the gas station. I'm gonna crank this thing up to 70 and we will stay at 70 until we are done and get off the freeway. I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update. God, this car is bumpy sometimes. Okay, so we're at 22 miles per gallon thus far, and we've driven 50.9 miles. So 22 miles per gallon is pretty good, so let's see if we can keep it up.
right, we are about to get off the freeway. So the final numbers are 20.8 miles per gallon. Let's see what it does at the pump. All right, so 20.9 it is. And we went uh, 87.3 miles. All right, let's see what she did at the pump here. Okay, the pump just clicked. Pull it again. All right, so that's gonna be our number, 3.956. Okay, so we got fuel and that was 3.956 gallons. And let's see how many miles that was again. 87.3. So we're gonna do 87.3 divided by 3.956. Yeah, so that's that's it. We ended up with 22.06 miles per gallon and this thing read inaccurately by a lot more than it normally does. So what that tells me is a couple things. The first thing is whoever said that the cold was impacting my, my fuel economy was probably right. I don't know by how much, cause it was 21.8 with, without the supercharger with everything else identical on the car. Now it's 22, so it obviously went up. I don't think the Pro Charger helped the fuel economy. I don't know how much it hurt it, but Anyway, the, the, main, the main part of this data is that we got 22 miles per gallon, 22.06 miles per gallon. And that is excellent for a 630 wheel horsepower supercharged V8. 700 horsepower, 22 miles per gallon. I call that a win, especially with 315s in the rear and 275s up front. So there's a lot of tire, a lot of rolling resistance. I, I'm impressed. I mean, if this car can still get 22 miles per gallon on the highway at 70 miles per hour, that is awesome. And it looks like we are super close to hitting 8,000 miles too. So that's just something to note. And I can't end this video without giving you a little listen to the blower. So let me do that. Awesome. 22 miles per gallon on a Pro Charge V8, 392. That That is a, a definitely a very good result. So for all the haters out there that hate on the um, scat packs, they're they're better than you, you give them credit for a lot of times. Now, from what I understand, the Hellcat doesn't have cylinder deactivation. And just one thing to note on the cylinder deactivation, because this car still does have it, I think we would have done even better with fuel economy if I just drove a tiny bit slower because it was barely able to get into four cylinder mode to, to do the cylinder deactivation. It was just only like a few downhill strokes and just wasn't the entire time. So I think if it had been, I, I think we would have gotten even better. So I guess that's that for now. So thank you everybody. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. Peace. Push the gas, escalate the gauges, escalate hits on the camera.